Leo, Leo, if you're dealing with Aries or a Sag, I just uploaded those, okay? You might want to go check those out. But we're going to jump in and see what messages Spirit has for you. Spirit, what do you have? What messages do you have for my Leo collective? Please say thank you. I don't know why I feel a very judgmental energy watching me in my Leo collective. Um, I would say just... See if you can get a message. If it's not for you, click off and go on about your business, okay? But anyway, I see spirit. What's going on? Ooh, see? That's the energy that I'm feeling. That not a source energy. It's really because somebody's confused. They're jumping to conclusions. They're judging a particular person and not knowing what the fuck is really going on, okay? It could be judging an earth angel who is, wow, high priestess with the damn ace of cups. So this person could be like a psychic or an intuitive, something like that. And maybe you were confused by this person. So some of you guys could be dealing with a, high, uh, um, a Pisces or a Sagittarius. Okay. So with the judgment here, some of y'all may, may have jumped to conclusions about this person. And if they were bad conclusions, you may have went through some type of karma for it. Like y'all might want to go watch my Aries reading. Yeah, see, with this magician, you may have thought that this because this person was spiritual that they do magic. There you go, Leo. See, two of swords, you were like refusing to see this person for who they were. So if this is somebody who said, I'm psychic. You're like, oh, no, nah, that motherfucker ain't psychic. That motherfucker is... Any, it's like you were willing to believe that they were anything but what they were. A lot of you, this person was sent in your life as a, a divine counterpart. And you were dating anybody. You were willing to date anybody but this person. Something like that. Okay? It's just seven of cups. You were confused. But more than confused, some of you guys were stubborn. Some of you guys were refusing to see the truth. The truth has always been in your face. And you refused to see it. A very stubborn energy here. Now, Leo, if this is not you, this is somebody who did this to you. So, y'all have to take your heart resonates, okay? All right, what's that? Yeah, you walked away from this person. Probably broke this person hard. I mean, there could have been a third party involved. You could have walked away from the energy at the top and chose someone else. Hell, you could have actually had an option between a Sag and a Pisces. Or another Leo and a Sag and a Pisces. Take your heart resonates. Or Libra here. We got justice at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. What's this? Ace of Swords. See, I feel like somebody was stuck and stagnant trying to figure it out, but they see the truth, the truth and clarity. Because the Two of Swords is refusing to see or not being able to make a decision. The Ace of Swords is clarity. It's not just clarity, but it's absolute truth. So you go from being confused about a particular person to seeing them for who they were, who they've always said they were. Okay, you just didn't want to believe it. Or somebody didn't want to believe it here. And uh, they chose to walk away from this person. So, you know, now they're watching, gossiping. Maybe people was gossiping about this person. Y'all need to go watch the Aries reading. But see, I tell people. You know, especially for me, here I am. A couple of years ago, I was addicted to pain pills. And that shit had me, like, they, it was an addiction. I have since then freed myself from that. But a lot of people from my past, was they were, like, refusing to see that I have changed. So you get people who continue, they see the new me. They see clearly that I've made some changes. They see that my life has changed because of the changes that I made, but they still want to judge me. Some people are like sitting there waiting for me to revert back to who I was, never really giving me the benefit of the doubt, even though it was there in their face the whole time. That's what I feel like somebody did to y'all. Some of you guys could have been a blessing in someone's life and they judged it out of confusion, walked away from it, broke your heart, all kind of shit, okay? Gossiped about you, said mean and horrible things. And now this person could be stressing because they're like, damn, I fucked up with an earth angel. Those don't come around every day. 
and they don't. A lot of people don't even believe in them. But people will tell you, be mindful, because you never know when you encounter an earth angel. People think earth angels supposed to look like they're supposed to literally have wings on them. No, man. Earth angels, a lot of the times, I'll tell you one time I know for a fact, for a fact, I was going to the store. This is, I was, I was popping pills and shit. I was in that addiction. And I went to the store to get a pack of cigarettes. And this lady came up to me. Immediately, in her energy, I knew something was different. Now, this is before I went on my spiritual awakening, right? I knew something was different, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I was like this. Trying to figure it out, like, what the, what is it about this person? All this woman asked me was if she could have a few dollars. And I said I didn't have it. I did have it. But I said I didn't have it. You know why I told her I didn't have it? I was judging this woman because she was homeless. How dare me, bruh? And I would never forget that. I would never forget that shit, bruh. I'm looking at this woman and judging her because she homeless. I said, I ain't got it. And I kept on walking. Immediately, I felt like I had fucked up. And I had never encountered an earth angel before until then. I just knew. She didn't have no wings. She wasn't glowing. She was just a regular person. But you never know who the most high God done put in, in your life. That's why they tell you all the time, be mindful. You never know when you are encountering an earth angel. And I don't care. I would go to my grave believing that that woman was an earth angel because I could never forget it. You know, we tell people no all the time and we're not constantly, like somebody is right now. This is how I was with that woman. Like, damn, I fucked up. And I knew it in my gut that I had fucked up. So this is, this is what's going on with somebody. Somebody was sent an earth angel and they judge that person possibly for how they dressed or how they looked or whatever. They judged them. And they labeled them everything but what they was. Now, here's somebody, they instantly knew that they were fucking up. But because of the gossip or uh, because of this, how this person was raised or whatever, I feel like it was gossip. They continued to do what they did and they walked away from this person, possibly hurt this person. Okay? But now look at them. Whatever they chose, that it didn't get them what they thought they was going to get out of it with the four cups. The person can't sleep. They probably dream about this energy. It's a lot going on. Spirit is dealing with whoever this is that walked away from y'all. Spirit dealing with them because they treated you like shit when you were a gift. You were kind of sent in this person's life to help them, to better them. And people like to look, well, how are you going to better somebody? You ain't got no money. It's not all about money. Especially when you're dealing with an earth angel. Because I just told y'all that woman was homeless, man. Listen, man. Be mindful how you treat people. So anyway, what else going on? Eight of Swords. Now this person all in their mind. Stuck in their head. Maybe someone said something that kept this person stuck in their head. Instead of this person coming to you. And telling you what someone had told them about you. They decided to judge you and walk away. Could have been a cancer who told this person that. Yeah. But here's the thing. Not only does this, uh, this person regret walking away from you. Whoever told them this fuckboy shit about you. They going through karma too. Oh, please believe. They going through karma too. Because this it's like somebody interfered with God's plan. God's plan. God's plan. Mm -mm. So, baby. Mm. What else, dear? People be gifted blessings and they judge it. This person here could have took the person who walked away to the Ten of Pentacles. They didn't believe it. They didn't believe it to be possible. Now they in the five. Listen to me, child. What the fuck? Maybe when, because I see the Wheel of Fortune here. So maybe the roles was reversed. Maybe when they met the earth angel, the earth angel was broke and ate the five of pentacles. And this person had the ten of pentacles. Well, shit has changed. Will of fortune. Okay? Now somebody has received a lot of success. Um, this person's getting a lot of attention. This is the person that somebody chose to walk away from. They were supposed to build with this person, but they chose to judge it and walk away from it. And so now they right here. 
then they tried yep this, they were supposed to be working with listen i feel like it's an emperor who walked away from you but here's the thing he may not have known he was an emperor i literally just said in another reading if people have to find themselves but people spend so much time judging other people projecting on people saying how everybody else ain't this and ain't that but very seldom do you catch someone who goes within themselves and start to do soul searching like i had to on that damn when i was dealing with that addiction like i was missing a lot of my life that addiction was taking a lot of time away from my job away from my family away from me like looking 10 years older you know, sleeping longer or not sleeping at all. It was just taking a lot out of my life. So I had to reevaluate. I had to say when enough was enough. And a lot of time, everybody will project on everyone else and say how everybody else ain't shit, this, that, and the third. And they are very judgmental. But when you go within yourself, now this is somebody who could be realizing now that they are a divine masculine. They didn't see that shit at first. Or maybe they did and they just thought you weren't worthy of them. 1111, a lot of you are this person's divine counterpart. So if this person is an emperor, that make you to be an empress. But I feel like this person gave an opportunity to somebody else. Somebody who wasn't even worthy of it. And they probably lost a lot dealing with that person. Because they were supposed to work with you on something. And they sabotaged it. Like, how do you sabotage? I, I just said this in Aries reading. How do you take a blessing that the Most High God gifted you and just throw it away? How you just, how? I, I don't understand. I'll never understand. Damn it, I know what I'm talking about, bruh. We already saw the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor with the damn Empress. This was like some magical, meant to fucking be type of shit. But somebody judged the person based on whatever. Maybe that they was didn't have the money that this person had or... I don't know what the hell it was. And then on top of that, people was gossiping and talking shit. So this person walked away from they People don't, you don't run into this everywhere, every day. This ain't standing on every corner. Real love, Ace of Cups. It's not standing on every corner. You, it's so many people in the world that's filled with their own motives. They, they are like trying to, how would I say it? <laughs> Because whoever this empress is was someone who was given unconditional love. And this emperor wasn't even used to it. Because if they was, they would have recognized it when they saw it. You know how people say real recognize real? This emperor didn't recognize this emperor. Because he didn't know he was a fucking emperor. For real, for real. He might have been very stubborn, very cocky. But he did not know. He didn't recognize the, his own divinity. Because had he, a, a real man recognizes a real woman and vice versa. This person did. But you know, we all make mistakes. Ain't nobody perfect. But this person gonna pay for this. Life gonna be hell. And I ain't never gotta make it up. They regret not getting into a relationship with this person. Cause man, it was meant to be. It was a strong connection. Two of cups, lovers with the star. But this person is full of regret. Cause they fucked up. They may have ghosted this person, used to leave this person hanging, see this person call and not answer the phone. They choose to, yeah, they chose to go and be with the other person that they was juggling. They'll, they'll soon see. They already see. They already see. They walked away from somebody who was wish fulfillment. Now, for some of you, they were highly attracted to you. For others of you, they chose a queen of wands over the empress. Somebody who was very attractive or uh, a lot of sex or some shit going on. Okay. For others of you, that Queen of Wands is this Empress. They were attracted to this person. They did have emotions for this person. But because this person was an earth angel, something about their energy, this person was very mysterious. Everybody else started gossiping about this person. And they were like, well, I can't look foolish. I don't want to be with somebody that everybody talking about. How will they look at me? This person was really insecure. They was. Because if you want something, you should be able to get it and not worry about what a motherfucker going to say. Let's pull out this deck. What's going on? For my Leos. Arrested. Someone may be getting arrested. Blocking communication. 
bound. They could have been dealing with somebody who did magic to keep them bound to them and made them block them. And make like this emperor could have been dealing with someone who was doing like sex magic over them and some shit. I don't know. Let's keep going. It's kind of like the reading I did earlier. I said somebody showed, please watch my Aries reading. Because that's what happened here. Somebody got with a Queen of Cups devil type of energy and chose to go against. The earth ain't, that's why this person receiving so much karma. Because they chose, it would be one thing if they would just chose another lover and went on about their business, but they didn't. They chose the other lover and then chose to go against what God had gifted them with. You cannot do that, man. What else, spirit? Yeah, there was no balance in that situation. None. Romantic thoughts, blackmail performer somebody could be on the platform yeah i feel like that's that earth angel someone was sent to guide this emperor out of his low vibration out of his addictions or anything that was keeping this person stuck this earth angel was there to help him the two of them were supposed to work together to break generational curses and generational cycles and you know they would have been very successful we saw ten of pentacles six of wands ten of cups Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness, okay? That somebody didn't do that. They tried to go against this person. They tried to hurt this person. Mm, mm, mm. What else, Spirit? Yeah. I told you they chose a Queen of Cups devil. Toxic family. Could have been someone they got kids with or... I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes, though. See, you were part of this person's life purpose. And a lot of them didn't choose you because of this. Because you read tarot. So they watch it. Remember at the beginning, I said, why do I feel a very judgmental energy watching me? That's what this was. They judged you. Hello? And I feel like whoever it was that they chose got a reading done. And, and that could have been the person that was gossiping about the empress. It's because she got a reading done and she knew that these two people were meant to be in each other's lives. She may have known that before the emperor knew that. So she's running around here talking about the empress. And she know that this emperor is stubborn and he don't believe because he's insecure as fuck. So he's going to believe what other people say instead of standing in his own truth and authenticity. Because this is somebody who had romantic thoughts. They had feelings. They were attracted to this empress. But when everybody else started gossiping, they were like, shit, I don't want nobody looking at me strange. So he got played. This could have been a baby mama. Somebody played this emperor to the fucking left and they fell forward. There was no balance in the situation whatsoever. She got a reading and she knew that these people were destined to be together. That Queen of Cups devil energy. Childish. Childish. I swear to somebody, baby mama. I swear, bro. Mm -hmm. And this emperor fell for it. Then he gonna team up with the motherfucker after he was warned not to do so. He teamed up against, teamed up with this toxic person to go against this earth angel. Somebody who was sent to him by God. Somebody who was a gift to him. This person crazy as fuck. They see it now. Now they're taking to time to do one of the hardest things in the world to do. And that's to self-reflect. Take a moment to self-reflect. Do some soul search. That's that hermit energy, that Virgo energy. People don't do that. People will not do it. They will point the finger and they will blame everybody else. And they very seldom do they realize that they are the ones being toxic. They are the ones preaching hate, causing hate, being negative. They see it now, but damn, somebody got hurt here. Okay? Yeah, somebody was dealing with a water sign who was obsessed. This motherfucker was envious as fuck, all in their emotions about it, and got this masculine involved. Yeah, they thought it was funny. That shit ain't funny now. Not when they go through this karma. It's not going to be funny. Because some of these motherfuckers going to get sick. Some of these people will pass away. They will start to lose their job. It's it's not going to be... It just depends on what they did. If all they did was gossip about you, they might lose a job, or their money might slow up. But some of these people did criminal shit that they was warned 
not to do. And they did it anyway. What else, Spirit? Yeah, they could have did magic. Somebody was doing, I fucking, what I just say? What did I just say? He got with this damn karmic, this baby mama, whoever this other motherfucker was, who was envious that the two of them was meant to be together. She started mimicking everything that the real divine feminine do, but she was doing black magic on the other end, behind the scenes. So what did I say? Somebody was doing magic on him to keep him stuck. Look at this car. He's feeling bound to the current situation. Don't know why he can't leave. I don't know why I can't leave this toxic bullshit when the Most High God done sent me someone who's balanced. There's no arguing. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry. But I want to stay bound to this where there's no fucking balance. Why? Because somebody was doing spell work to keep him there. He didn't believe that. A lot of them believe that you, that the Empress was doing the fucking spell work. So then she could have said, well, we need to do a spell over the Empress to protect ourselves. This person fell for all of this fucking bullshit, bro. All of it. Oh, my God. Now, now they want to see the truth. Only now is this person's vision getting clearer. Now, for some of you. This masculine didn't do anything to you. They just chose someone else because someone else was doing magic over them to cause them confusion. Someone who was envious of you. This person, this toxic energy knew that they could not compare. A lot of karmics do. They envy the divine feminines and the divine masculines because these people are chosen. And they're going to be very abundant, very successful. And these toxic codependent motherfuckers know that shit. And they get jealous and they try to copy them and, you know... It's crazy. Leo, your last reading. Mm, somebody could have been doing death spells. If they did spells to cause death to this empress, they might pass away. All you can ever get is what you put out. Somebody was clearly envious of the empress. And they were warned not to do something. And they did it anyway. Now, it's out here twice. So somebody could be going to jail for what they did. I mean, I don't know. Just depends on what they've done, y'all. Okay? Experiencing similar energies. Everything that they wanted for you, they could be experiencing that shit. I mean, you have to understand. I, and I, I tell people this. How is it that you can judge these earth angels and think that they're so evil and they're so hateful? And then you turn around and do evil and hateful things to them. And you never look at yourself and see that you're the fucking problem. Like I said, this be the last resort. This the last step that they take to take a moment to self-reflect. Like, hold up, wait a minute. We're the ones that's toxic. We're the ones spreading hate. We're the ones doing all of this venom and shit. There's a lot of regret here, y'all. Because you were chosen. Okay. Yep, she done got caught up. Now he done found out that her was doing this spell work. He could have kicked the ass out. If he didn't, he need to. So, his, this is another thing she was doing. To keep him stuck, she would do magic, uh, make him lose jobs. Like, creating, making life hard for him, but then telling him that it was the new person. Well, none of this stuff started happening till you met the new person. That's because she had already got a fucking tarot card reading done on this masculine, and she knew that the Empress was part of his life purpose. So she does the, the black magic here to get this person bound to them so the two of them could team him up. And basically, a masculine allowed a karmic to take him off of his life path and purpose. He's supposed to be successful and abundant right with this person. Shit. If it's going to cause some growth, they're definitely going to grow from the situation. Mm, mm, mm. They need to cleanse their space because if this person is still out, trust me, she's still doing magic. And then, look, then this motherfucker lying. Oh, my God. Oh, This is giving me that energy of that uh, that person who was either an officer or her father was an officer. Somebody lied to the courts and got 
people believing that this empress is doing black magic they could have ordered let's grab some kipper see what i can get out of it leo yeah this motherfucker was false fake as fuck and as long as he was with her he was fake as fuck too child how you let another motherfucker get a tarot card reading on your life they see that you're about to be abundant they know everything about your life but you don't now that's some fucked up shit that's some real fucked up shit so they swoop right on in and get you to go against the person that God sent in your life. <laughs> Child. So if God sent you this empress to work with this empress and you decided not to and work with this person, that means you were working with the devil. Y'all go watch my Aries reading. Somebody really might be going. If they're not in physical jail, they're in spiritual jail. What does spiritual jail feel like? Your money be, if you got any money at all, it be tight, be hard to come by five hours. Everything that you work so hard to build is crumbling. If you ain't in jail, maybe your kids is getting locked up or people around you that you care about, you having to spend out a lot of money, it's just, it's not fruitful. Because she was out here doing too fucking much and Spirit said it needs balance. Yeah. Now, for some of the people, they married this person. This person has privilege. Either they are they work for the justice system or they know somebody who worked for the justice system. So they went and told a bunch of fucking lies. Okay. Some of these people got orders to get cameras or get somebody followed. They really had people thinking that they should fear this person. And the whole fucking time, this person was the one doing the fucking spell work. Do you see what being stubborn gets you? It don't hurt nobody but you. This emperor was so stubborn. Oh, it couldn't possibly be the person that I chose. It's got to be that divine feminine that God sent to me. It couldn't possibly be this privileged lady. Get the fuck out of here, bro. So if she got this person with money, the bitch goes from privilege to poverty. That's what you call karma. Anything else, spirit? Oh. Now, we done saw the coffin out here twice. Child. Child, child. Yeah. She could have passed, or she could be real sick and get ready to pass, or. Because they are doing death spells. And so what happens when it backfires, it starts to hit people around them. I don't know, bruh, but somebody's in despair. I feel like the coffin could just be that everything's ending in their life. Okay? Main female, community, high honor, house, marriage, courtship, message of concern, occupation, adjudication. See, that's what I'm saying. They may have worked for the justice system. If that's the case, that motherfucker about to get fired or get laid off or, or something. For some of you, this person was threatening to hurt the divine feminine. I don't know what the fuck this is, bro. I don't know what it is. I'm about to tap out of it. It's too much. It's really too much, okay? Like, it should not be. It ain't that much hate in the world. Ain't that much hate in the world, bro, to be doing all of this. All because you don't want two people to come together? And you, you go to this... Well, we got to find a way to what? It's like somebody was really trying to get this empress arrested for something. And I just hope and pray to God that this emperor did not do anything criminal with this car. I don't know. Arrested is out here three times. So they could have like... I also with this, someone's mimicking everything you do. You know, they could have been sending emails or fake-ass communications to make it look like it was coming from the Empress. They could have sent that to the Empress. Some of these people could have set this Emperor up and made it look like the Empress. And the Emperor could have went with this damn karmic to the police station, made false-ass reports on the Empress. Because, again, oh, it just couldn't be my baby mama. It just couldn't be this privileged lady who's toxic as fuck. It just couldn't be this person. 
It's got to be the new person. Never stopping to think that this new person was sent in their life to get them away from this toxic, false, fake motherfucker. Because if they'll lie to you, they'll steal from you. If they'll steal from you, they'll hurt you. Like, what the fuck? Again, they're seeing it now, but damn, it's, damn, they're too late. All right, y'all. Let me get y'all a message from Spirit, child. Yeah, shit was fake. Everything about that person was fake as fuck. Everything. Everything they said about the divine feminine was fake as fuck. It was all lies. So if, if they try to build a relationship based on lies, it's like the only two things these the only thing these two motherfuckers had in common was talking about the divine feminine. Gossiping about the divine feminine. Alright, this shit here per crazy, Leo. But don't you worry about it. They're gonna go through what they need to go through, and you're still gonna be successful and continue to move down your path. Okay? Let me get y'all a message from Spirit. Yeah, relationship. Something was a blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of the answer prayer. Because like I said uh, in Aries or Sage's reading, one of the two, this person is getting, like, they're offing themselves. Like, some of these people did so much black magic, they're going to pass away. That magic is not just going to dissipate. It's going to hit somebody. It's not going to hit the person that they were sending it to. That person was too protected because that person is an earth angel. Whether people want to believe that shit or not, the proof is in the pudding. They the only ones had the issues. They were directing all of this bullshit to this earth angel and nothing happened to this person. That should have let them know. But no, we're determined to take this person down. If they would stop and take a moment and do just like the car said, self-reflect, they weren't taking nobody down but their damn self. So, again, something is a blessing in disguise, just period. What appeared to be a problem is actually part of the answer prayer. You're going to move this person out the fucking way so you can truly do what it is that you desire. Okay? Mm. Release and surrender. Clear yourself. Another life purpose card. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you have been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. Law of attraction, be honest with yourself. Yeah, be honest with yourself that this empress is a powerful ass white worker who's come to earth to teach people about love. People will call you any and everything but what you truly are. Okay? Somebody having a brand new beginning. All right, you guys. That's what I have for you. Till next time, Leo. Bye.